All right, here we have our new materials ready for our old change. Our first step is to unplug the throttle position sensor cable to give us clearance. And we loosen the bolt on the oil filter housing. Several twists later, remove that. Then remove the cap. And now we can extract our old nasty oil filter. We then want to remove the old O-ring from the housing bolt, as well as the old washer. The replacements for these come in the uh, old change kit. Then remove the washer from the cap and clean it. Now before installing new washers, I like to dip them in a little oil so they seal well. And we lay that back in the cap. Do the same for the, uh, the bolt sealing ring and reinstall the new washer. Optional step, but I like to do it, is to clean out any excess oil in the housing. Now on the bottom side of the car, we will remove the access hatch, then loosen the oil drain bolt, and drain the oil. Clean up, then reinstall the drain plug, complete with the new washer, which should have come in the kit, and then torque it to spec. Now at the top of the car, we're going to install our new oil filter. First, place a little oil on the uh, seals to get them lubed up. Yes, I said lubed up. <laughs> then reinstall the cap. Make sure it's lined up and place the bolt back in the housing. Tighten it down. Finally, after making sure everything's sealed up, pour in some fresh oil, usually about five and a half quarts. Then check the levels. If it's between the marks, crank the car, let it run for 30 seconds, and then recheck the levels and add oil as needed. 